How is it going today, Lord? Let's kill my Dwayne. My name's Jess. We're Dwayne Jazz. Today we have Ugandan Knuckles before the very famous meme. Do you know Dewey? Not Dwayne. Dewey. Um, Dewey. Yeah, and if you have any reaction requests, please follow us on all our social medias. Where's the link my pillow? In the description below. And don't forget to subscribe. I don't know how it got over there. Sega it's presents like yeah. one champion of good, one pawn of evil. Was he really dead? Yeah, he's bad in the beginning. Would come to transform VR chat yeah, he was. Troll fest, I forgot. Thousands of users adopting the character as their avatar, mm -hmm. bombarding mm -hmm. people with spits, clicks, and his catchphrase. Do you know the way? <laughs> Great communicating with you. Do you know the way? Are you the queen? Before popular YouTubers would chime in oh on my God. the Knuckles, including Bijou Mike, Mini Lad, and of course PewDiePie. Seeing I know neither of those except for PewDiePie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> going with a Ugandan accent, going, Do you know I'm the way? It's, uh, it lessens the meme a bit. Before the Ugandan <laughs> warrior would be called out for promoting racism, as users would huh? mock an African accent. I didn't know it either. <laughs> becoming a playable character in Sonic and Knuckles. Dang, never mind. Brings it back, bro. Yes, I remember that. Dreamcast. Oh. An interesting piece of information yes. I found out was that Knuckles was originally going to have a Jamaican accent and be named Dress. You know what? Because of his hair. And I was thinking about that. Years, Knuckles would be featured in over 30 that different be games. Some playable character. You look like he has dreads. Exposure in comic books and in animated television shows. The little really? Jamaican look. It looks the same as Sonic, but just nah, now. down dreads. Like, he was a lot like Raphael from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The angry he was just protecting the animal. Why? Let's talk about his recent rise in popularity. The man credited with changing Knuckles' look from what he was in the video game to the one he is now, who looks like he ate too many cheeseburgers, yes, is a YouTuber that. by the name of Greg Zilla. At the time, he was boasting 12,000 subscribers, and he okay. published a review of Sonic Lost World to his channel in February of 2017. <laughs> so, without further echidna, oh no, let's take a look at <laughs> Sonic Lost World. That was it right there. That was that it? One second clip on the video was like, oh no. 650,000 views. What? That's what launched this new Knuckles. How did, how? <laughs> but something certainly clicked. No pun intended. Craig's it was just two YouTube seconds. channel skyrocketed to 120,000 subscribers and today has over 130. As the rise of popularity took off, people loved his depiction of Knuckles and Greg would later go on to release some merchandise might as well. yeah. merch. But it took nearly a year before Knuckles would become 3D wow. and Ugandanian. Did this happen a year ago? Ugandanite. And then now they made anyway, 3D. Credited for the next right, step wow. in Knuckles evolution was deviant artist Tidius Flyer, who released a 3D model based on Greg Zilla's Knuckles depiction and uploaded it as a VR chat ready-made 3D what? model. This was back in September of 2017, and by late December, well, the game was flooded with Knuckles avatars. How though? No, he 
still have two major things to explain. What the hell is VR chat and why is yeah. I've never heard of that until access. now. Well, VR chat was first launched in 2017. It's a free to play game that left users interact in a virtual world while adopting a costume like 3D avatar. Now users can engage in practically any activity that's in the realm of the game. They can go to amusement parks, they can go to bars. They can basically live out whatever life they want without actually having one in the real world. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if VR can simulate ways. You can kiss someone. Not yet. Uh -uh. No, no, no. no, there's been some pretty hilarious <laughs> avatars people have created. No. I mean, you can go into the game as Ronald McDonald, you could be Ty Lopez, or you can even be a can of beans. <laughs> As for the Uganda part, well, this comes from another popular trend surrounding yeah. the Twitch streamer Forsen, who would have players coming after him while using badly formed Ugandan accents. <laughs> What game what is that? How would they do that? Well, Forsen had watched the low-budget action film titled Who Killed Captain Alex while on stream. This video has become internet famous for its bad acting and over-the-top oh, action the scenes. Yes. And those who shared their interest in the film Terrible. would find each other online quoting the film. from African films were being shared amongst this gaming community. I used it for something else. What I used it for is none of your business. Oh, oh. what you're saying now? Yeah! You ain't great! Why are you crying before I give you that money? Why are you All running? These factors mixed together in a one-of-a-kind way, almost like the three ingredients in a Tide Pod. All of a sudden, VR chat was flooded with <laughs> Ugandan Knuckles characters. The group is comprised of Ugandan extremists playing as Knuckles from Sonic. They vary in size from almost microscopic to eight feet tall. Oh my the god. Look at that one. Look. Bragos, or Commander. Big Brothers. 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 They began searching for their queen as they are in need of someone to show them the way. The meme became a frenzy on VR chat. Some attempted to stop the outbreak by banning Knuckles characters, oh. but people found ways around this. Soon enough, Making Sonic was all plumped up and speaking with a mock African accent, and he was just as popular in the game. Footage was soon uploaded to YouTube and videos were going viral. Memes were being shared via oh Twitter and outsiders like me were asking, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, It's because I didn't crazy. know what that was. Twitter people kept hitting us up, do you know the way? I was like, what is that? But there is an upside. I thought they were talking about you. I mean, I thought, do, do you know the way? I was like, Dwayne? He decided to speak up. Please do not use this to bug the users of VR chat. Its community means a lot to me, and it would hurt me to see the rights of other users taken away and possibly it's gonna, restricted it's gonna be taken because away. of how <laughs> out of hand it can get. Mm -hmm. Showing off their creativity and what they're capable of. For me, I'm in college and don't have a lot of time to get on like I would like to anymore. I remember making this and thinking, well, it could be funny to show off to my friends and possibly mess with users. Mm -hmm. But I've learned what kind of thing I'm really capable of making. It's yeah. always fun to be you the one You can turn something. You no never know what, what something will turn because into. Because I can be anything never know. that I want to be. It's like that special place for me. To get away from the real like world, I'd be someone I'm not. Oh God, but right yeah. now, VR chat has <laughs> become a deep ground, like, and I feel like I've helped to dig a grave for VR chat. Soon enough, people are going to get tired of all the memes that are now polluting the servers. And with 500 people trying to just enjoy an event, they can't because there isn't enough moderation to mm. hold down the rampant amounts of memers. So please, think about the users that you are playing with before they are all gone. Don't let it be a second, second life. Mm. You don't know the way. Now, by the time this video is posted online, the meme will likely be nearing its death. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, Probably, yeah. no queen was founded, and no one was there to show death to win. Now, if you ain't much for VR chat, but you like to go to events... Because yeah, you guys were tweeting us, we're like, do you know the way? I was like... I was like, I did not know. I literally did not know what that was. And then I thought they were talking about you. Really thought and it. then when I figured out, like, maybe they're not talking about Dwayne. Maybe it was an artist. I'm thinking it's an artist. 
like that does rap or something. So I was like, who is the way? And then I see this this picture of Knuckles. I'm like, what the hell? What is that? <laughs> what is that? What is, that? What um, is this? And then I saw it popping up everywhere. Like PewDiePie did it. I'm like, what the hell is this? Like, yeah. what is this thing? But now we know. Now yeah. we definitely know where it comes from. Now we know. But yeah. people do overuse like memes. memes yeah. Everything. That's that's what causes memes to, to die. die. When you overuse it and you just like flood and spam people with, do you know the way? Do you know the way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like and stuff like that. Like they're gonna. They're gonna stop. But anyway, guys, please comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.